and welcome back everyone welcome back to from toys to trains um my um tonight um i'm going to give you guys the update and show you what i've been working on so far with the uh, p61 black widow so as you can see here i have my wings all together um i ended up painting the top half of this one and if you turn it over like this you see that I still got to paint the bottom half. This is where the engine is going to go together. And then also, um, we got these little like fuel silage things. These are going to glue into place right here, just like that. There's going to be two on this side of the wing and two on this other side of the wing. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys like how I'm doing it. Uh, this is the first time I've used testers paint. And like I say, it, it, it's a learning experience for me, but it, it's turning out to be really well. So this one was painted the first coat, and so was this one. So what I'm going to do is, is now I'm going to put the second coat on here. And basically what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to brush it long strokes like this. And I'm just kind of like filling it in. But what I've learned with this is, is that you have to keep the paint wet. And what do I mean by that? Well, like when you start painting like this, and again, you know, you just use long brush strokes like this, you know, just kind of work it in here. But you'll feel when the paint starts to dry, the enamel, it gets, it's, it's sticky. It doesn't like flow like it's supposed to. So that's kind of giving me the indication that I need to stop uh, working in that one area or get some more paint on my brush. But what I do is, is I just going back over this the second coat and like I say these were all molded in black but it was like a matte black and I really didn't like it the the color scheme that was on this um, one so what I did was is just to um, re-emphasize is I ended up painting the pieces um, a primer color the primer gray like this and I ended up painting them in a rust-oleum car body uh, paint kind of deal sandable paint so I did that let it dry and now I'm to the point where I got the second coat now on this one and then I have to put the second coat on this one because this one was just painted but I thought I'd show you like uh, like right in here on these ones here though where the wing goes I'm not gonna paint that because that's gonna be right against the body of the plane so that you won't see once it's done but now i know probably a lot of you are probably sitting out there thinking oh gee you know you got brush marks you got this you got that so the next video i can i'm going to give you guys um like a like a preview or whatever but on the next video as i clean out my brush here what i'm going to do is is once these are this one is painted the um the second color coat and i do the back side of the wings I'm going to show you guys in the next video how um, I get the scratch marks out of the, or the brush marks out of the thing. And basically what I do is, is I have a 400 grit sandpaper and these were bought, they're um, three, three and a half by eight, by eight sheets, uh, all different, uh, all different size or all different grits. There's a 320, 400, 600, 1000, 4000. 6,000 and 12,000 and you can use them wet or uh, dry I prefer to do it wet but basically what I do is is I start off with just you know take a little piece like this dip it in my water start with the 400 and I go over all the pieces to kind of you know remove any um, imperfections any uh, dust anything like that and also just to you know smooth it out really well I'll wipe it off and then I'll take my 600 grit sandpaper, sand this all uh, down once again. Uh, again, just getting the lines out and things like that. And then my final one is the 12,000 grit. Now this is really, really smooth. Basically this is just gonna um, polish it all up and everything and get the rest of the scratches out. And as you can see here, I'll show you, I'll show everybody this so far is the body i still have to repaint the top here of this um the, the hatch here but again you know here's the inside of the plane all the seats and everything but as you can see 
the body is really nice and smooth and everything and that's what I did here I took you know the 600 grits or 400 grit sanded it the 600 grit sanded it 12 wiped it all down and it turned out uh, really nice I'm really proud of this one so that's the next step is is to get these painted to finish painting get them sanded and then I'm gonna get them attached to the body and get the um, the little um, carrier things here the little gas thing the little gas tanks or whatever these are um, you know uh, sanded to get the burrs off here and all that paint them black and get them attached to the wings so that's about all on the p61 black widow so thanks for watching everyone and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and until next time everyone thanks for watching toys the trains We'll see you right here next week. Take care, everyone.